Hi there, you're welcome to this channel. I believe you're doing so well. Um, today is my very first scholarship opportunity video I'm sharing with my viewers and potential subscribers. Now, this scholarship I'm gonna talk about comes with free tuition, free accommodation, and free feeding. Plus, application is also free. So if you are interested, let's get into it. Guys, my name is Kisiwa, and if you are new here, you're welcome to join the family. If you are an OG, you're welcome back to the channel. Now, this scholarship I'm talking about is offered by a college in the United States. Now, unlike Germany, Norway, Ireland, who offer free tuition to international students, the United States don't offer free tuition. However, this college offers free tuition to every student who is admitted into the school. And the students also get to enjoy free accommodation, free feeding, and applying to the college is also free. Now, the interesting thing about this whole thing is that you can work and study at the same time, even if you don't have a work permit. Interesting, right? Well, let's get into it and find more about this college. So, the college is Beria College, and the motto is God has made of one blood all peoples of the earth. Now, this college is a private non-profit college uh, founded by a Presbyterian minister in the year 1855. From the year 1892 till, as I'm recording this video, November 2022, the college charges no tuition and every student admitted is entitled to a student dormitory. Okay? The stu Biria is located in the city of Biria in the Madison County, Kentucky, and the address is 101 Chestnut Street, Biria, Kentucky, for, with a zip code of 40404. Now, a quick fact about Biria is, Biria College offers a high-quality education to academically promising students with limited economic resources. One of the major requirements is for the students to have a limited economic resources okay now it rewards every student a tuition promise scholarship so that no bureau student ever pays tuition hmm. now this school also um, requires every student to work while schooling so that after graduating you have some pre-professional experience and to enter the markets or the labor field. So it is stated on their website that the labor program originated in 1859 and was formalized in every student's educational experience in 1906 when the college catalog declared that every student must contribute at least 10, at least seven hours per week to the necessary work of the college. This was raised to 10 hours in 1917 a requirement that remains in effect to today so every student works at least 10 hours and that is one of their requirements if you are admitted into the school so even without a work permit you can still work okay so let's look at um, a list of programs that the school offers the school offers programs in about 28 departments okay uh, some of the programs are, or the academic, um, the academic department are um, African and Amer African American Studies, Art and Art History, Business, Chemistry, Economics, um, Education, Engineering, Computer Science, Nurse and Music, Sociology, Studies of Religions and Spirituality. That's an interesting um, program here. Uh, theater and then women's gender and sexuality studies okay so these are the programs that the school offers and you can find the program coordinators in the directory section on the website so you can find a list or the list of um, program directors or program coordinators with their email address you can email them if you have any inquiries to make Okay, guys, so now let's move on to the eligibility requirements if you want to um, pursue a degree in Berger College. So you have to meet an academic requirement which states that every student should write an English test. Um, and, and usually, their student or the student admitted into Berger 
write ACT or SAT and score between 20 and 10. Then you should also have a cumulative GPA of 3.00. Sorry, 3.0. Afterwards, you should have at least read English, mathematics, laboratory science, social science, or history and then foreign language. Okay, so if you meet those academic requirements, then you're good to go. However, you should also meet the financial um, eligibility requirement. And it says that um, the college mission is to serve students with academic promise with limited financial means. So once you have limited financial means, then you are eligible to apply for um, admission in Bear College. And now for them to know that you really meet the financial limited financial or the financial eligibility requirements, you have to fill a form here. That is the FAFSA form which you can email the program or coordinator to assist you in. so once you meet the eligibility requirement then you can apply for free and you can apply for free as a first year student you can apply for free as a transfer student you can apply for free as an international student and you can apply you can apply for readmission okay now we're interested in the international student option and they have these deadlines the early action and then the regular action so the early action is between august and october 15 and then the regular action is between 16th of 16th october to 15th of january now if you apply for the early action the school will notify you of the admission decision later by the mid of december and then if you apply for the regular a decision will be sent to you later by mid of march okay and you need a number of um, documents for you to apply so first of all you apply for free online so before it wasn't an online application you have to send all the documents in hard copies to the school but for some time now for a number of years now it is an online application and it is for free so you should write uh, you should present or provide uh, a personal statement or personal essay and the pages should range between two to five and it should be in the pdf okay then you should provide official secondary school records or official transcript and then also two teacher recommendation forms plus the financial resource confirmation form that is the fafsa form lastly you should provide a test call okay so with the text or the, with the exams you can write ielts duolingo to fail site or the act and you are good to go so we're going to look at the step-by-step -step guide in applying for um applying to bureau college okay as an international student so bureau college international application step-by-step -step guide for 2023 and so the very first step is to provide some information about yourself so you need to complete this um this session that you provide your personal information your contact information your demographic citizenship family additional tests additional information and then high school information also you are to select uh, the period of your enrollment and you should note that the school does not offer spring enrollment they only offer fall enrollment so you select the fall enrollment then also you should provide academic recommendations. So the very first option when it comes to the academic recommendation is to provide the email addresses for two recommenders. Okay, you have to provide email addresses to the um, for the recommenders, those who are recommending you academically. However, if you don't have these email address, then you should provide the recommendation letters of your recommenders. And that will be in the seventh step. We will get to that so the fourth step is to upload your essay that's your personal essay and then your feed step is to provide your official test call and and with the test call 
they have um, stated the minimum you should uh, the minimum score you should get in any of the exams as stated here um, the seat the seat step is to provide uh, an international financial resource form that is the FAFSA form which to, which shows that you meet their financial eligibility requirement and the seventh step is to provide um, the recommendation letters of your recommenders okay and then you may also be required to um, provide other additional documents as well um, like a resume letter of recommendation and etc when you start your application you're going to meet all this now when you are done with um, now when you are done um, uploading all these documents then you can submit your application and application comes at a zero cost okay so it is free for you to apply to this program now once you are done with the application let me take you to where it is stated that you will you will um, be provided with three meals so for the past two years um, the United States has been providing breakfast and lunch for those in Beria but in June 30th 2022 that program that feeding program ceased however there is a form that you fill and if you qualify you will be entitled to free breakfast and free lunch at no cost at all so that is basically all that i will leave the link um, on the website in my description box for you to check these out and that is basically all about the application process and the feeding as well well guys that was interesting now if you want content such as this if you want content on scholarship schooling abroad i promise to bring it on your screen as many times as i can and if you've come this far without clicking on the subscribe button please do me the honor by subscribing and click on the notification bell to get every video i drop on this channel so we've come to the end of today's video and it's a bye for now